So this method we're looking at on how to deform an object is the lattice modifier along the lattice tool. As you can see here, I already got like a building structure done with a bunch of loop cuts so it can give us some stuff to manipulate here. I'm going to hold the shift key down, hit my A, and click on lattice. And let's get over to x-ray view so we can kind of see what we're doing. I'm going to bring, grab, bring this on up to about right there. And then I'm going to size it to, I get try to get as close as I can to being around the full object. Let me slide this up a little bit more. Size it out. Let's go to this side. And then just open. Okay, now that I got that little lattice box fix. And as you can see over here, it creates this nice little lattice looking tool, the data. And this is where you can come in and you can manipulate it. Like if I want to add in some loop cuts, you can. But what I'm going to want to do is click on this object, go back to my modifier. I'm going to come up here and we're going to come on down to where it says deformed. I'm going to come over to lattice and click on that. So, and then I'm going to click on this, uh, on this and get click on lattice. Now, when I click on the actual lattice, I tab in, I can grab this and then I can manipulate the object. I tab out. Now, if I come back to this and then I say if I want to, let's see which one of these I want to turn up. I think it's so yeah, we can kind of do a couple different things. Tab on in, and so whatever one I choose to grab, as you can see, it manipulates everything. So I can really make this a very warped house, like something you might see out of some sort of whack dark fantasy type thing. And probably good too, if you want to actually create some fantasy style homes that are more organic in nature, kind of like an Art Nouveau type thing. And so, and we can see here we grab him. You can see if I grab and move the whole lattice around, it looks like the house is made of water. So, that is another way you can actually deform the object that you're working on into a different shape.